Okay, so we're going to take this toward Firefly today, or Titibasana. So this is going to be a very hip-intensive flow, and just keep that in mind. A lot of opening through the inner thighs. Definitely get to the hamstrings as well, and... Uh, We'll get to the full pose toward the end of class, but I have two demonstrations before we start. So once we get to the main part of the flow from here to begin, and as usual with this flow toward this pose, we're going to start this with a series of frog hops. So what's going to happen is you're going to be in your downward facing dog. <coughs> And how far you want to take this exactly is up to you. And keep in mind, even hopping forward, you can take it toward inversion. You certainly don't have to. And what matters is really how high your feet come up off the floor from the back of the mat. So you can hop forward and barely lift your feet to come forward, or you can bring this up higher if you like. But really, that's the big difference. Keep your hips up higher in the air, press into your hands. You're supposed to put some weight on your hands. Land on your toes with the heels lifted so you're not just coming down flat in your feet. I want you to be springy. And each round, we're going to take this back and forth through three hops. So from here, you're going to take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just bend the knees. Look forward, hop this forward, land light. You don't have to come up that high. You're going to step it right back and do it two more times. And if you want to take it further toward inversion, then same thing, deep inhale with the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop this forward, and still press down and land on your toes, land as lightly as you can. After that third hop, we'll stay toward the front of the mat and we'll just set this up and come into the rest of the flow from there. So just keep that in mind. That's how we're going to begin. Now, at the end of the sequence from here, we're going to come into crow and then take this into the flying lizard setup. And that's to get into the inner thighs and maybe take it toward a half firefly shape. I want you to go through both poses here. Bring yourself toward curl, at least into the setup, whether you're going to balance it or not. And then coming into that flying lizard shape, at least wrap one of your legs around one of your arms. And whether or not you lift both feet up off the floor isn't that big a deal, but I want you to start to engage your inner thigh because it's going to help you get a lot closer to firefly toward the end of class than you would otherwise. So work it as best you can. So initially, you're going to have your hands down on the floor and as usual for curl. Bring your knees to your arms, look forward, lean, keep your hips high. And then as you bring your weight forward, lift the feet together, toes to touch, pull the heels in toward your seat. We'll hold this for a breath or two and then set the feet down. And then to come into the flying lizard setup from here, you're going to bring one of your legs around one of your arms. So my left leg's going around my left arm, left foot between my hands from the front, and the right knee's touching my right arm from behind, just like crow. Now you're going to lift that front foot first. So I'm lifting my left foot to squeeze my left arm, at least come this far into the pose, and then look forward and lean if you want to balance this to lift the back foot, just like crow. Now if you want to just stay here, this is fine. Just keep that wrapped leg squeezing your arm to engage in a thigh. If you can take it further, and this is really hard to do, especially your hamstrings tight if your hips are tight, but maybe extend that front leg forward. And this is your half firefly shape. You're going to have the same engagement in the inner thigh, and this is really tough to do, all right? If you can't get that far, don't worry about it. Now, I'm going to take it through the vinyasa from here, and you got a choice. You just step back to plank, maybe pull this back, oh, bring it to crow, and you come back into chaturanga from there. And that is quite the transition to move yourself through. So there's always something to work yourself toward, keep in mind. So just feel things out, see how far you want to go with this today. And just keep all that in mind. So to start, let's go ahead and begin seated. And we're going to take this into Baddha So soles, feet together, knees out wide. And pick your hands up off the floor as you set this up to arrange yourself properly here. Now you want to be able to sit this upright without too much extra effort. So you don't need to round forward and you don't need to lean back to stay upright. So if you need to, if your hips are tight, slide your feet away from you. Make a longer diamond shape with your legs. And just relax around the hips to let your knees settle down toward the floor. Now once you set this up, just bring your fingertips down to your sides. Just keep you stable right and left. And then engage through the midsection on up. Pull through the belly, round the low ribs. Try to lengthen your spine, sit up taller. Crown the head toward the ceiling. Pull your chin in a bit and lengthen the back of your neck. Relax your shoulders down. And then just close your eyes. So just give yourself a moment to settle in like this. Let your mind quiet down. And then just start to deepen in your breathing here. So with the inhales pulling as much as you can, try to fill up your lungs, hold on to all that breath at the top. And then when you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slow your breath down on the way back out. And just work to make your exhales last at least as long as your inhales as you breathe. And just keep breathing like this to begin. When you're ready, you take a deep inhale. With the exhale, just open your eyes. 
And then just take things slow with an inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach us up high. Exhale, hands through center again. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, through center. Inhale, reach us up high. And then with the exhale, twist to the right. Set the right hand down behind you. Left arm outside the right thigh. Sit this up tall. Crown of the head toward the ceiling. Look over the right shoulder, but still keep the knees pulled out wide. With your next inhale, turn to center, reach up. And then with the exhale, take it the other way. Left hand down behind, right arm outside to your left thigh. Now again, sit up tall. Crown of the head toward the ceiling. Look back over your left shoulder. Use your right arm, press into your left leg, and again, sit this up tall. Bring your gaze as far back as you can and still keep the knees wide. With your next inhale, turn back to center, reach up. And with the exhale, just bring the hands down through center to the floor behind you. Lean back and take this into a jhana shashasana setup. So extend your left leg and bend the right knee, sole the right foot to the inner left thigh. And we're going to take this into an upright twist. So the right hand sets outside your right hip, left hand outside the right thigh. Now extend the crown of the head toward the ceiling, look back over the right shoulder. And as you're extending up and twisting, press that right foot into your left thigh. Just breathe here. Now I want you to keep your twist and keep the left arm pressing into your right leg. Just release some of that tension and reach the right arm out wide at your side. We're going to lean over to the left. So from here, take an inhale. With the exhale, bring your left shoulder down. Sweep the right arm across and reach for your left big toe. With your next inhale, come back up right, right arm wide. Exhale, lean left and sweep the right arm toward your left foot. Inhale, bring it back up right, reach out wide. Exhale one more time. Lean left, right arm reaches for your left foot. Gaze up high. Pull the right shoulder back. Keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just come back up right. Both hands behind. Lean back and switch it out. Extend your right leg. Bend your left knee. Solve the left foot to your inner right thigh. Now just sit this up tall and then turn toward your left knee. So left hand sets at your side, right arm or right hand comes outside the left thigh and sit this up tall, crown of the head toward the ceiling. Look back over your left shoulder, keep that left foot pressing into the right thigh. And then hold your twist, but just let go of some of the tension. Right arm still pressing to your left leg, reach your left arm out to the side. Now take an inhale. With the exhale, lean down to the right, sweep the left arm across and reach for your right big toe. Inhale, bring it back up, reach your left arm wide. Exhale, lean right, sweep that left arm across again. Inhale, come back up right, left arm wide. Exhale, lean right, sweep the left arm across, hold here. Stretch your left arm long, gaze up high, keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release both hands down behind, lean back and switch this out. Extend your left leg, bring the sole of the right foot to your inner left thigh again. Same setup. And this time we're going to take this up and down. Now right hand sets outside the right hip. Reach your left arm in line with your left leg. And be sure your right foot's kicking down into the floor. Now with an inhale, sweep the left arm right. Lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. And then with the exhale, sink this back down. Inhale, sweep across, lift up again. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, sweep this right and lift and hold here this time. Keep the right foot kicking down. Bring the inside edge of the left foot to the floor. Keep your glutes squeezing. Kick the right foot down. Let your head fall back. Just stretch your left side long. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, come all the way back down. Once you're down, switch it out. Lean back. Extend your right leg. Bend the left knee, sole the left foot to the inner right thigh. Left hand sets at your side. Reach your right arm in line with the right leg. And let's take it up here. With an inhale, sweep the right arm left. Lift your hips up, open up. And then with the exhale, come back down. With the next inhale, sweep the right arm left and lift again. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, sweep your right arm left one more time. Hold here. Now keep the left foot kicking to the floor. Bring the inside edge of the right foot down. Glutes engage. Let your head fall back. Stretch your right side long. Keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just sink this back down again. Once you're down, lean back and just cross at the ankles. Roll forward. Your hands come into all fours. And then from all fours, just move around. Stretch your hands, stretch your fingers with the shoulders and hips. Move side to side and just feel things out. Just feel that way you loose and way you tight. 
Now, once you're ready, just bring the center to all fours, and let's take the center of the wrist right away. So, hips stay stacked over your knees, but bring the hands in close within about two hands lengths of your knees, and flip your hands over, backs of the hands down, palms up, point the fingertips in toward you. Now spread your fingers out wide, press your fingertips down, straighten your arms as much as you can. You can bring the hands as close as you need to. The closer in they go, the more weight you can take to the legs if you want to back off. Now keep the hands tense like this, and then just go back and forth. Rotate the right hand toward the midline of the mat as far as you can go. Rotate your left hand towards center as well. And then rotate your right hand out to the side, and left hand out to the side. And just keep on switching out and going back and forth like this with each hand. Now each time you switch, set your hand down, spread your finger out, fingers out wide, press the fingertips down, and try to straighten your arm at least briefly. And just go back and forth at your own pace like this. And then just give this another round or so. And I want you to finish this with both hands rotated out to the sides one more time. And with your fingers pointing toward the sides, maybe take it further. You can slide the hands towards center, maybe bring the wrists in close to each other. Now keep your fingers spread wide, fingertips pressing down, lift your spine toward the ceiling, spread your shoulder blades apart, and hold that tension. Now if this is good enough, just hold the stretch and stay here, but if you can take it further, put the weight to your left knee. And then try to step your right foot forward outside the right hand or as close as you can go. And then bring your right knee down. Same thing on the other side, left foot forward outside your left hand, keep the hands grounded. Bring the knee back to the floor. Right foot outside the right hand again. And then set the knee down. Left foot outside your left hand. And then set the knee. Right foot outside the right hand one more time. And then bring your knee back down. Bring the left foot outside the left hand one more time. And then set the knee. And then come up onto the fingertips. And walk your hands forward. Come to your usual all fours. And we'll take one more wrist stretch here. Now palms down. And this, just keep your shoulders over your wrists here to start. Rotate your fingertips out to the side and then in toward the knees as far as you can go. Now with the palms down, spread your fingers out wide. Dig your fingertips hard into the floor. And lift your spine up toward the ceiling. Now maybe just stay here and, and circle your shoulders over your wrists. And this could be good enough. And if you want to take it further. Just keep your arms straight, your fingertips pressing down, but start to slide your knees back away from your hands. And just take this to maybe to where you're just barely keeping your palms up off the floor and hold this. Now feel that extra stretch move through the wrists and up into the forms. If you want to go further still, keep your fingers grounded, but start to lean back, peel the palms up just slightly. And then lean forward and set them down flat. And maybe just take it back and forth like this. Now keep your fingertips pressing down the whole time. You should look down and see that you're pressing the blood out of your fingertips. And just take it back and forth like this at your own pace. You don't have to force anything here. You don't have to make it super intense. Now, the next time you bring the palms down flat, just keep them down like that. And then from here, just take it side to side like before. Bring the right foot forward outside the right hand or as close as you can get. And then set the right knee down. Left foot outside your left hand. And then bring the knee back to the floor. Right foot outside the right hand again. And then set the knee down, left foot outside your left hand, and then bring the knee to the floor. Right foot outside the right hand one more time, and bring the knee down, left foot outside your left hand one more time, and then set the knee. And then come up onto the fingertips and down to sitting on your heels. And take a moment, shake your hands out, loosen up your fingers and loosen up your wrists. All right, then once you're ready, bring your legs out from underneath and come to a seat. I'm going to take this into reverse tabletop here to start. Now feet in front of you, about hips with distance apart. Hands behind the shoulder, shoulder width. Palms down. Fingertips forward if you can. You can always rotate out to the side if you need to. But press down, lift your seat up off the floor. And let's take it up and down. Inhale, press your hips up high. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale, sink this down. Inhale, lift up again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, press your hips up high. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift your hips up again. And then exhale, lower. Now inhale, press up one more time and hold here. Now keep your glutes squeezing, keep your hips lifting. You can look forward, look up, or let your head fall back, but keep breathing. And take an inhale. With your exhale, come all the way down. Once you're down, take a moment, shake your hands out. And we're not done with the setup from here. So when you're ready, just bring the hands behind the shoulders, about shoulder width. And this time, be sure your fingers are pointing right or left. Lift your seat up off the floor. Now take it a little bit differently this time. Walk your feet in close, as close as you can, and try to bring your thighs in so they're touching your belly. 
And with your seat still lifted, we'll go back and forth from here. So press your toes into the floor. Lift your heels. Press your knees forward as far as you can. Keep your hands grounded. And then pull back in and set the heels down. And just keep going back and forth like this, lifting and pressing forward and then coming back in. And just take it bit by bit. Now as you dig your toes down, try to squeeze your glutes as you press your hips and your knees forward. And feel that stretch across your chest, maybe through the length of your thighs. You'll probably feel this in other places too. And then the next time you lift and press the knees forward, stay forward like this. Keep your hands grounded, squeeze your glutes, maybe lift your hips with the knees still pressing forward and down. And keep breathing here. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just pull back in, set your heels back down. Come back to your seat, shake your hands out again. And we'll do one more thing from this position. Now start like you did before. Feet forward, about hips with distance apart. Hands behind the shoulder, shoulder width. Fingers out to the sides. Now just lift your seat up off the floor. I'm going to take this back and forth, twisting this time. Now from here to go slow to begin. Lift your left foot and extend your left leg. Doesn't have to be straight. But bring the right arm across and bring the right hand to the floor past the left edge of your mat. And then come back to center, both hands down, both feet down. Other way, extend the right leg and keep it loose. Left hand comes over to the right, and then bring it back to center. Now extend your left leg, bring the right arm across. You got two choices. Easier, you can touch the right hand to the floor. If you want to take it further, maybe bring the right elbow down. And then come back to center, both hands and both feet. Other side, extend the right leg. Bring the left arm across. Maybe touch the hand down, maybe bring the elbow down, whatever suits you best. And then come back to center. Back and forth, left leg extends, bring the right arm across. And then come back to center here. Right leg extends, left arm across. And back to center. Left leg extends, right arm across again. Back to center here. Right, right, right leg extends, left arm across. And then back to center. Left leg extends, bring the right arm across. Come back into center. Right leg extends, left arm across. Back to center here. Left leg extends, right arm across. Back to center. Right leg extends, bring the left arm across. Back to center, two more rounds. Left leg extends, right arm across again. Bring it back to center. Right leg extends, bring the left arm across. Come back to center. Left leg extends, right arm across one more time. Come back to center. Right leg extends, bring your left arm across. And then once you come back to center, set yourself down. And take a moment, shake out your hands, roll your shoulders out a little bit. And then once you're ready here, go ahead, cross at the ankles, roll forward your hands, find all fours. And once you move into all fours, give yourself a moment here and move around. And then to warm up the hips a little bit further, wrists underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips to start. Tuck the toes of both feet. Now hover your knees up off the floor, keep them lifted. But then press in your hands, sink your seat down to your heels. Now from here, let's take it back and forth. Right foot forward outside your right hand. And then sink back to the heels. Left foot forward outside your left hand. And then sink back down. Right foot up and to the left again. Sink back down. Left foot up to your left side. And then sink back down again. Right foot up to the right. Sink back to your heels. Left foot up to your left side. And then sink back down. Right foot forward again. And then come back to your heels. Left foot forward. And then sink back down. Now right foot outside the right hand. Stay here. Take it further. Lift your right hand. Pull your left leg through. And then pull back. And sink back down. Left foot forward. And then pull the right leg through. Pull back. And sink back down. Stay with me here. Right foot forward. Left leg through. Pull back and sink to your heels. Left leg forward, right leg through again. Pull back and sink down. Right foot forward, bring the left leg through. Pull back and sink down. Left foot forward, pull the right leg through. Pull back and sink down. Right foot forward, left leg through. Pull back and sink down. Left foot forward, pull the right leg through. Pull back, sink down. Last round, right foot forward, bring your left leg through. Pull back. And sink down, left foot forward, pull the right leg through, pull back, sink back down, and then just come back to all fours. And once you're in all fours, move around, slow your breathing down. Now you can stay here and breathe and just take a break or take another stretch before you move on. When you're ready, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, lift your hips, and find your down dog. 
Once you move into your down dog, just take a look at how you set this up. Hands about shoulder width distance apart. Flatten your palms so you feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs. Sink your chest low, but press your hips up high toward the ceiling. Now keep your hips lifting like this. Engage through your core, pulling through the belly. Try to lengthen your spine and reach your hips higher. If your legs are tight, bend your knees. And you can always just pedal this out and stay loose. When you're ready, take an inhale. And with the exhale, just bend the knees, look forward, step to the front, take a ragdoll fold. Now feet about hips with distance apart, deep bend in the knees. Let your belly touch your thighs, let your head hang, let your spine round. And just let everything go long and loose here and let the muscles in your neck relax. You can hang your hands down, you can reach to opposite elbows, maybe shake this side to loosen further. And then whenever you're ready, just release any grip that you have. Keep your knees bent here to begin and restack your spine slowly around this upper standing. Bring your head a blast. And just open up your palms at your sides. When you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Now take a moment here to breathe, set an intention. Let your mind clear, find your focus. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your hands. With the next inhale, reach your arms up high. And with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. So hinge at the hips, start with a straight spine, put a little bend in the knees. Keep your core engaged, move smoothly, and then release this to the bottom. With an inhale, lift it up halfway, fingertips to the floor to your shins, lengthen forward through the crown of your head. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands to the mat and step it back to high plank. Now find your shape, receive the shoulders, palms pressed to the floor, press the floor away from you, press your spine up toward the ceiling, stay lifted like this. Take an inhale, and then with the exhale, slowly bring your shoulders forward as your elbows bend, keep your body in line. Elbows pulled into your sides and lower with control, all the way down to your belly. Once you're down, flatten the feet up behind you, hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. Let's take it up and down through low cobra, with an inhale, just peel up your head, neck and chest. With the exhale, roll this back down. Inhale, peel this up again. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, peel up one more time and stay lifted. Now keep the lift in your upper body, press into your feet. Take some of all the weight out of your hands. Elbows at your sides, pull the shoulders back, keep your gaze forward. And work to lift up a little bit higher. Take an inhale. With the exhale, roll it back down. Hands under the shoulders, elbows in at your sides. Press the palms down to the floor. And let's take it to upward facing dog. So with an inhale, straighten your arms. Now pull your chest forward. Let your hips hang. Stay on the tops of your feet. Keep your legs active. Work to lift your knees up from the mat. Take it further. Kick your feet down. Squeeze your glutes and pull the hips forward to deepen and lengthen the arc all through the front. Now lift with your arms, but lift with your shoulders. Keep your neck long. Keep your chest pulling forward. Deep inhale, and with the exhale, pull your belly and hips up high, back to down dog. Paddle out here, let your hips move side to side. All right, from your downward facing dog, inhale the right leg high. And then move into a scorpion dog, bend your right knee, hang the right foot left. Now reach the right big toe toward the floor, let your body twist. Inhale, straighten that right leg through like a dog. And with the exhale, bring your foot down. We'll take the other side. Inhale, your left leg high. Bend your left knee. Hang the right, left foot right. Scorpion dog here. With the next inhale, straighten your left leg through like a dog. Exhale, bring the foot down. Now from your downward facing dog into those frog hops is going to be three. Take it high or low, but land on your toes and land light. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bend your knees. Look forward. Hop it forward. And then step this back, hips up high. Two more times like that, take an inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop this forward. And then step it back, hips up high. Once more, take an inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop this forward. And then once you're at the front, we're going to take a lizard version of Anjane Asana. So right foot outside the right hand toward the upper right corner of the mat. Slide your left foot back and slide it back long. Now see if the right ankle is forward to the right knee at least a little bit. Curl the toes to the right foot. Keep them curled. Roll to the outside edge of the foot and let that right knee move to the side. Now as you press in your hands, sink your hips down. Pull your chest forward between your arms. And keep that left knee lifted if you can. You can set it down if you need to. Now we're going to open this to the side. So put the weight to the left hand. Reach your right arm forward. And let's take it back and forth. Inhale. Reach your right arm back and look back. 
Exhale, reaches forward. Inhale, the right arm back again. Exhale, reaches forward. Inhale, the right arm back one more time. Keep looking back. Take a half bind right arm behind your back. Palm face me. Pull that shoulder back. And then set the left knee down, flatten your left foot behind you, kick it into the floor. Now keep that left hip low, keep it pulling forward, keep looking toward the back of the mat. If you can take this further without backing up your hips, go ahead, bend your left knee, pull the heel toward your seat, but there's no grip. Keep your left hip low, keep it drawing forward, keep breathing here. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just turn back to center. Tuck the toes of the left foot, set your right foot flat. Actually, don't tuck the toes of your left foot. Keep the left foot flat behind you. Now press into the right foot, and then bring yourself upright. Everything stacks are vertical from the left knee up. I'm going to arrange this for a half split setup from here. Now keep your left foot kicking down, left hand to your left hip to start, right arm still bound. Now come on to the right heel, straighten the right leg, slide that heel forward, rotate the big toe towards center. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward, keep your hip squared. Now reach your left arm high. We're going to go back and forth, bringing the left elbow toward the floor. Come as low as you can, and as you're coming down, if your hamstrings are tight, go ahead, bend the right knee. But take an inhale, reach up. With the exhale, left elbow comes down inside the right thigh, low as you can. Inhale, reach your left arm up high. Exhale, bring that elbow down low inside the right leg. Inhale, reach your left arm high. Exhale, bring that elbow down again. Inhale, reach your left arm up one more time. And with the exhale, bring the elbow down inside the right leg and stay low this time. Bring your left hand to the floor. Now maybe keep that left forearm down and this is good enough. You can bend the right knee as much as you need to. Touch your belly to your right thigh. Pull the right shoulder back with your bound arm. Now if you want to take it deeper, maybe reach the left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. You can use that grip to pull your torso further down and further into the right thigh. Keep breathing here. Now take an inhale, and then with the exhale, come up onto the left hand, press into the floor, and then bend the right knee, set the right foot flat. Now I'm going to take this into a high and a lunging setup. Tuck the toes to your left foot, lift your left knee, both hands to your low back, bring your torso upright, palms open, fingers wide, draw the shoulders back, keep your elbows wide, and just arrange this. Left hip forward, right hip back, be sure your hips are squared. Now we're going to go back and forth from here to balancing, just take it slow, and keep it down low. Bring the weight forward to the right foot. And then left knee forward, touch the right calf and hold here. And then step it back long, find your lunge. Again like that, weight to the right foot. Left knee to right calf, hold here. Step it back long, find the lunge. One more time, weight to the right foot. Left knee to right calf, hold here. And then we're going to go from this position to a revolved half moon. So release your hands, left hand to the floor, reach your right arm up high, and extend your left leg straight back. So you're trying to find a twist in the upper body. Now you can keep the right knee bent or straighten the leg if you can. Bring your gaze to the right side, keep the right shoulder high. And if you can take it deeper, bend your left knee, reach back with the right hand, and see about finding that foot. If you have the grip, kick in your hand, pull the shoulder further back, and just breathe into this here. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release both hands down, both feet down. Now the left foot's going to be a base. Draw the right knee to your chest, round your spine. Take hold of the right knee, and let's bring this all the way up to vertical like this. Once you're up, dig down to the left big toe, slow your breathing down. And then just bring your hands to your hips. Now let's take it into dancer. Line, right knee lines up the left. Reach back with the right hand. Find the inside edge of the right foot. And once you got that grip, line up your knees. Now to go further, reach your left arm high, palm forward. And then kick into the right hand, lean forward against the tension of the kick. Pull the right shoulder forward, keep your gaze forward, and just take this as low as you can control. Keep your balance, keep breathing here. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. Once you're folded, take an inhale, lift it up halfway. And then with the exhale, set your hands and let's take them to crow. Palms down, grip the floor. Lift your heels and bring the knees to touch your arms. Now look forward, lean forward, just go slow, but see about lifting your feet up together. Toes to touch, heels pull up toward your seat. And then set your feet down, let's take that flying lizard set up from here. So it's going to be right leg around your right arm. Right foot between your hands on the front. Left knee touches the left arm from behind. Now lift your right foot and squeeze the right arm. And then lean forward. And lift the left foot as well to take this into balancing. 
Now you can keep that right leg squeezing the right arm as is, and if you want to take the half firefly, maybe extend that right leg forward, reach for the big toe. It's not easy to do. Just take things to where you can. And then when you're ready, go ahead, step it back, fly it back, take it through your vinyasa. Once you find it down, dog, paddle out and breathe here. From your down dog, we'll take this to the other side. With your next inhale, raise your left leg high. Bend your left knee, hang your left foot right. Come into that scorpion dog. Feel your body twist. With the next inhale, straighten your left leg. Feel like a dog. And with the exhale, bring your foot down. Inhale the right leg high. Now bend the right knee, hang your right foot left. Open up and twist to this side. Inhale, straighten the right leg through like a dog. Exhale, come back to your downward facing dog. And then from here, we'll go to those frog hops. Again, it's going to be three, high or low, but land it light. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop this forward. And then step it back, hips up high. Deep inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, hop this forward. Step it back, hips up high. One more time, take an inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, hop this forward. And then once you bring it to the front, take that lizard version of Anjaneyasana. So left leg outside your left hand, bring the ankle past the knee a little bit, slide the right foot back and slide it back long. Now from here, look at the left foot, curl the toes, roll to the outside edge of the foot, keep that knee to the side. Sink your hips down, pull them forward and bring your chest between your arms. You can drop the right knee to keep a lift if you can. Now push into the right hand, reach your left arm forward. And then take it back and forth. Inhale, reach back and look back. Exhale, reaches forward. Inhale, the left arm back again. Exhale, reaches forward. Inhale, the left arm back one more time. Stay open to the side. Take a half bind. Left arm behind your back. Palm face me. Pull the shoulder further back. And then go ahead, set the right knee down and flatten the right foot behind you. Left knee still out to the side. Now, if you can go further without backing up your hips, you can bend the right knee. Pull the heel toward your seat. No grip. Just keep breathing. Now keep your left arm bound, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just slowly set the left foot flat, press back, stack your hips over the right knee, and just bring the right hand to the right hip as you come back upright. Now let's come to that half split up set, set up from here. So the right foot's kicking down. Go ahead, extend your left leg forward, heel down, toes pointed up, rotate that left big toe toward your midline, pull the left hip back, right hip forward, and then reach the right arm high. Now again, we'll take it back and forth, bringing the right elbow as low as you can. You can always bend your left knee if your hamstrings are tight as you're coming down. Now take an inhale, reach up. And with the exhale, bring the right elbow down low inside your left leg. Inhale, reach us up high. Exhale, bring that right elbow down. Inhale, reach us up again. Exhale, bring the right elbow down low. Inhale, reach up one more time. And with the exhale, bring that right elbow down as low as you can. And then set the right hand on the floor. Stay low like this. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward. Bend the left knee if you need to, but touch your belly to the left eye. If you want to go deeper, right hand to the outside of your left foot. Use the grip to pull yourself forward and further into your left leg. Keep the left shoulder drawn back and just breathe. Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, just come up onto the right hand, push into the floor, bend your left knee and set your left foot flat, and let's take a lunge. Tuck the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee, and then both hands to your low back, bring your torso upright, shoulders pulled back, elbows wide, and just get, give yourself a moment to arrange this. Deep in left knee, right leg towards straight, right hip forward, left hip back. And we'll go back and forth from here to balancing that left foot. Now keep your hips low, shift the weight to the left foot, right knee to your left calf, hold here at the front, and step it back long, find your lunge. Again, bring the weight to the left foot, right knee to the left calf again. Step it back long, find your lunge. Bring the weight to the left foot, right knee to the left calf, hold here. And then we'll go from here to that revolved half moon. So right hand to the floor, reach your left arm high and extend the right leg straight back. Take this as far as you can. You can bend the left knee or straighten the leg if you like, but keep your chest open to the left. Now, if you're going to bind it, you can bend the right knee, reach with your left hand. If you find the foot, kick into your hand. Let this pull your shoulder further back and keep breathing here.
Everybody take an inhale. And with the exhale, release both hands down, both feet down, forward fold. Well, from that fold, take an inhale, lift it up halfway. And with the exhale, just set your hands for crow, palms down. Grip the floor, lift your heels, and bring the knees to touch your arms. Look forward, lean forward, just go slow. And then lift your feet together, toes to touch, pull the heels up toward your seat. And then set your feet down. Let's take that flying lizard set up here. Bring the left leg around your left arm. Left foot between your hands on the front. Right knee touches right arm from behind. Lift your left foot and squeeze the left arm. To balance, lean forward to lift the right foot. And this is plenty right here. Keep the left leg squeezing. If you're going to go further to that half fire flight, extend the left leg. Try to point through the toes best you can. And then when you're ready, step it back, fly it back, take it through another vinyasa. Now from here to half pigeon, with an inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. And with the exhale, just bring it forward. Right knee behind the right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left. Now go ahead and bring your left knee down, flatten the left foot behind you. Keep your hip squared, keep that left hip pulling forward. And just sink your weight straight down. Look for some of the stretch in the outer right hip. Now you can take whatever version of your pose that you like as usual. Maybe stay extended like this. Maybe take the back bend, maybe melt down. And if you want to take things a little bit further, we're not going to stay here too long. I'm going to cue this toward a more active twist. So if you're interested, tuck the toes of your left foot and hover your left knee. Hips are still square, but slide the left hand over to the right and bring the right hand just outside your right thigh. Now use the right hand, pull the right shoulder back, look over your right shoulder. Keep the left hip pulling forward, both hips sinking down and the right foot kicking down into the floor. Just breathe here. Now take an inhale. And with the exhale, just bring yourself back up onto both hands in front of that right shin. When you're ready, tuck the toes, your left foot, release your right leg and shake it out. Once the right foot's down, take it the other way. Inhale your left leg high. And with the exhale, bring it forward, left knee behind your left wrist, or think ankle somewhere behind the right. Right knee down, right foot flat behind, sink your hips down and pull the right hip forward. Now again, maybe stay upright here, maybe take the back bend, you can always melt down and relax. If you want that more active twist, tuck the toes to the right foot, hover the right knee, keep the right hip pulling forward, and slide the right hand left and pull the left hand back, press into your left thigh. Use the left hand, draw your left shoulder back, but keep that right hip pulling forward, everything's sinking down, and the left foot's kicking into the floor this time. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring yourself back up onto both hands. Now tuck the toes of the right foot, release your left leg, shake it out. Once you set your left foot down, keep your hips up high, walk your feet forward. We're going to go right into firefly here and take a wide-legged forward fold. So keep your hips high, keep your knees bent, and keep your legs loose like this. You want to crank in the hamstrings yet. Feet are wider than your hips, heels and toes out. Now to come into this deep fold, we're going to do this from standing, or from, from folded and standing. So walk your hands between your legs. Now keep your fingertips pointed forward, or you can rotate out to the side right and left, but no more than 90 degrees. As you walk your hands back, press your fingertips down. Now draw your torso down low as far as you can between your thighs. You're trying to get the shoulders between the knees, just get as close as you can. Now once you can't fold any deeper, just look straight down. And then all at once, set your palms flat, bend the elbows, sit on your arms, and squeeze the knees toward your shoulders. Now, if your butt's on the floor, you pretty much got to do that again because there's nowhere to go. However, if you're still lifted, bring the feet towards center. You can take this to the arm pressure pose. You hook at the ankles and use that hook to keep your legs squeezing in, and this will keep you up. If you want to take firefly, same tension on the inner thighs, but with the toes pointed forward, straighten your legs as best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect, but the inner thighs stay engaged, squeezing your arms. When you're ready, bring yourself down into a seat. And we're going to take one more entrance from here. Now, move into the setup, whether or not you think you can get the arm balance, it's going to be another good hip opener, so just take it as far as you can. So to start from here, go ahead and just keep your knees bent, sit this up tall, and then right leg around your right arm. Now work that leg up as high as you can, you're trying to get the right knee toward the shoulder, and once the leg's not going any higher, press the right arm into the right leg, set your right hand down. Keep the leg hooked, and then left arm over your left leg. Now again, try to get that up as high as you can. 
And then when you're ready, just keep the elbows pressing to your thighs, rock back and forth onto your hands, and then leaning back. Now, each time you press into your hands, try to pull your torso further forward between your thighs. And we'll take this up on three, shooting the toes forward and squeezing the thighs in. So on my count, one, two, and then three. Toes forward, squeeze the legs in, and see if you can lift this up off the floor. It's not the easiest entrance, but it's not impossible. And then when you're ready, go ahead and bring everything back down to the mat. And once you're down, just shake things out a little bit. You're welcome to work on that further, but once you're ready here, just come all the way down onto your back. When you're down, draw the knees into your chest and just squeeze things in. Now let's take this into Supta Gomukhasana. Go ahead, release the left leg, left foot to the floor. Right knee to the center of your chest, open that leg up to 90 degrees. And then cross your legs here. Bring the left knee in directly behind the right. Now squeeze your legs in and pull everything down. It's opposite hand to opposite leg. Now you can hold the knees and that's good enough. If you want to go further, you can work your hands down toward your feet. And if you want to take it deep, you can curl your toes toward your hands and pull the feet toward the floor and up toward your shoulders at the same time. Now whatever grip you have, keep your knees pulled in close. Keep drawing down, work to flatten your spine. Push up into the hands as your hands pull down and just breathe into this. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your grip, untangle your legs. And switch this out. Right foot to the floor, left knee to the center of your chest, open up your left leg to nine degrees. And then cross the legs. Bring the right knee directly behind the left. Now again, pull down. Try to flatten yourself out. You can hold the knees. You can work the hands closer to your feet. And if you're going to take, take it deep, curl your toes toward your hands, pull the feet down toward the floor and up toward your shoulders at the same time. And again, keep the tension working both up and down here and just breathe. Take an inhale. With the exhale, release your grip, untangle your legs. Bring your knees into your chest side by side. And then take happy baby, reach between the knees, take hold of the outside edges of your feet. And stack your ankles above your knees, pull down on both sides. Now draw the knees down toward the floor outside your ribs and press your feet back up into your hands at the same time. Keep the tension working both up and down. Try to flatten your spine, sink your tailbone down toward the floor. If you want to take it further, you can rock side to side. Farther still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. And then finally here, take a deep inhale, draw it down as much as you can. And then with the exhale, just release, extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms at your sides. Open up your palms toward the ceiling. And just let your eyes close here and let your body settle down into the mat. When you're ready here, let yourself move bit by bit, fingers and toes, arms and legs. 
Take a deep inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And then draw it all back in. Bring the elbows toward your chest. Pull your knees up as well. And then just take your time. Find your way up to a comfortable seat. Ground yourself from the mat here. Stack your spine. And then bring your hands up to hot sun. Now take a deep inhale here. Hold on to at the top. And then just let everything go. I thank you for joining class. Namaste.